welcome back to another video iot stuff you can learn from this particular website so uh, so the website name is called vogue so you just type this in google and you can able to find out this particular website vogue online audio so just click on that so you will get this particular platform and so there are so many platforms that you can use it for studying iot or you know like the basics of uh, uh, internet of things thing, things using any of any of the boards like uh, Arduino, nano whatever boards available so uh, one of the famous site that we use is called uh, thinkercad which provides Arduino platform so you can do a lot of experiments mini small small mini projects and all using that particular platform so i'm going to introduce this particular tool like this a web platform just like how your thinkercad works so this wookie.com is another one platform and we have so many options so many different boards are available okay so um, here i'm going to you know initially you will get this particular page i i use my email id to you know to uh, <laughs> sign in i'm going to work on my project i'm going to click on new project and what kind of process are available which is all all processors are available like all kind of microcontroller boards are available here so you know mega nano these are the different arduino variants and you can see tiny 85 it's a 8 pin uh, microcontroller we can do program that and esp based progress esp32 which is another one wi-fi capability is there then uh, you can see my raspberry pi pico then <coughs> uh you, you have uh you know a few other boards are available so we will work on initially on arduino you know first so just select arduino you know here and once you select the board arduino controller or arduino you know development board so you can see the entire screen is split up into two one is the simulation you can connect all the circuitry and you can you have three options here like uh, play button which basically uh, run your simulations and you can have a second button over here to add new components you can search here the basic components that is required to complete your circuitry and and we have few other uh, display adjustment options like zoom in zoom out full screen mode like that okay so just i am going to click on this full screen mode then you can see that uh, the circuit layout is in full screen so I'm, I'm going back to the previous menu so which is basically very easy to like one side we can able to code your Arduino program here and, and and you can you know simultaneously you can play the button here so that whatever circuit you created will be simulated I can you can see the results real time so that's the beauty here and if you compare this with the Tinkercad platform Tinkercad platform is basically you know you don't feel like such a large space over here we have libraries in the right side so so this is basically very very easy to you know use it so first we basically just like how we do all the program we go for simple hello program so here we are going to do just an led blinking circuit so so for that i am going to use one led and which will be connected here so you can see that when i click on led you can see i can choose any color options uh, you can choose any particular color to turn on tear turn off the led so so uh, that's it so, and so this particular led you know that like this the first pin led that is anode and the other one is cathode so this is the positive pin and this is the negative pin of the led so um i need to connect to one resistor so let me pick up one resistor and which will be connected here and if you want to you know one second yeah yeah if required you can connect a resistor uh, since Arduino provide 5 volt uh, the resistor is good for you know protect the, the, the Arduino to protect it from overloading so otherwise you can simulate this is simulation so we can avoid that so I'm going to give a connection from positive I'm going to connect it to pin number 8 of the Arduino and if you wanted to change the color of the cable you can use same thing select the cable and you can change the color since this is the positive connection i just follow the color code so uh, it's uh, connected to arduino's pin number eight and this is the ground pin so 
I'm going to connect it to pin number here and this is ground so I just select give a color black so the circuit is completed now I need to do the coding here so this is the basic skeleton we have so I am going to initialize that pin so just declare that pin uh, so since here the pin number 8 is the output pin so whenever the adeno provides a voltage here that time this particular LED will glow so I am going to give integer this LED I declare it as LED 1 equal to what at what particular pin it is connected so it is pin number 8 so which is connected here and once you in declare the pin LED in 8 in go inside the setup void setup so I'm going to initialize here so I'm going to use a function pin mode so pin mode is basically the function I'm going to in and initialize this particular LED one which is pin number 8 is an output or input pin so which is so you can see here you have recommendations available so which makes your scripting very easy okay so i just mentioned this particular pin as output so that i did not handle it better like differentiate it with whether it is an input or output that is required so once you have done that you get into the void loop menu so there you need to execute the code like you need to program the logic over there so uh, here i will be like use another one function called digital write you can see here digital write and um, you need to write to that particular pin so digital write is another function so then led one that's a pin you are going to write and you can set it as low or high so if i am setting it as high so that particular instant you know add in a program execute line by line so it will enable led one that is pin number eight high mode it while writing it it set it as high okay so that time the led glows and you need to give a delay so how much time it need to you know run so if i am giving it one second you can give here thousand okay so it's take one thousand milliseconds it's one second so once it is done again so one second it will glow right and after that again we need to give the function digital right and you need to mention the same pin and give the status as low because after one second you need to make it as off so one second after one second it will second execute this particular line and it will be uh, turned off and give a delay over there and again give one more seconds delay so after one second it will need to be off how long it need to be in off state one second so uh, this particular four lines will be executed infinity times when you put it inside the void loop and let's check out what is the simulation result so once you write code over there in this particular area then you you can see the result here while hitting on simulation button so you can see that the bulb is glowing here here the bulb is glowing so one second delay is happening here and you can see how this is uh, working so hope i think this video is very helpful for a beginner who wanted to explore this arduino platform and you can uh, do the connection exactly like this you know into a breadboard and you can just copy this particular uh, code and you can paste it on the Arduino ID software and you can execute it very well so thank you for watching and I will be posting frequent videos uh, on this particular Arduino few other experiments in the upcoming session so uh, keep supporting me please subscribe my channel so that I can able to upload more and more videos thank you thank you so much